Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And before we get started, let me get the shout outs out of the way. Today's shout out goes to George Sheptak. George was the first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins this shout out. So, what do I got here today? This is the Helifar X140 Pro, little micro FPV racer, very well equipped micro FPV racer. Let's go over, we'll start from the top to bottom. First off, we got this uh, Runcam Swift 2 Mini clone. <laughs> it's not a, it is not a Runcam because I do not see run cam printed on it, but it's a uh, 600 TVL um, CCD camera. You know, it's not too shabby. Along with this, I got the bind and fly version of the X140 Pro. Pro. Um, it comes bind and fly in uh, both FreeSky and also um, FlySky AFHDS. Um, the thing is though, this FreeSky bind and fly version here with the uh, the trans XM Plus transmitter does not come with uh, RSSI uh, firmware on it so uh, you're gonna have to do that yourself install the firmware to that to get RSSI unfortunately I will not do that <laughs> I'm gonna be flying this strictly stock the way it comes out of the box and that includes the props and the pids so <laughs> we'll see how that this works but uh, with that in mind it also comes with a 48 channel uh, switchable transmitter uh, with 0, 25, I believe 100, 200, and I even think it might even have 600. We'll check it here shortly. But when I say switchable, uh, this also comes with on-screen display. And you can control this transmitter via on-screen display. You can change the channels of it. Uh, you can change the frequency bands. You can uh, change up and down, lower the power output. So that's that's really cool. I don't like that. I don't like pressing buttons <laughs> to get a channel when you can do it automatically uh, like that with on-screen display. Um, we also have a F4 flight control board loaded up with uh, beta flight, um, actually omnibus uh, beta flight uh, F4, uh, 3.2.4 on board that flight control board. And additionally, we have a 4-in-1 ESC, I think it's 25 amp, 25 slash 30 amp max. Uh, uh, D-Shot 1200 capable, and that goes out to power these uh, ST11, or yeah, 11, uh, ST1408 KV3800 motors. Um, on top of that, we are using the stock props. Um, I got this a little bit late. Actually, I got this, <laughs> I got one of these about a, two months ago, but uh, remember I said this thing, can, this transmitter can go up to 600 milliwatts. I don't recommend doing such because it will overheat at 600 milliwatts i found out the hard way folks so this is the second one i got for review um i got it set to 200 milliwatts and we're going to keep it at that for this flight uh but um with that in mind there have been some minor changes uh since that original release one of them is this uh originally this had an xt60 connector for the battery connector um they rethought that which is a good idea <laughs> now they got xt30 connector uh, to go with you know the size of batteries that would be powering this like this little 14 or 3 or 4s uh, I think it's 550 milliamp per hour Yushin battery that I got on here so that's cool they, they changed that uh, what else have I missed uh, it does have a light bar in the back and a beeper so again we're gonna be flying with the stock propellers and the stock pids um, again since I've had this a couple months I've seen the other reviews of this they recommend uh, adjusting the pids. In particular, Andy RC has a nice set of pids for this, and also using gem fan props. But again, we are going to look at this the way it comes out of the box and see how it performs. So, hope you enjoy this flight. And with that in mind, we're going to start off with line of sight flying. So, I got my T8SG jumper here. Let me set it up to free sky. Make sure it's ready to go. Switches up, and. We got free sky set, so we should be good to go with the transmitter. And I will plug in the quadcopter battery, and we're going to do line of sight flying. I have two batteries for this today, so we'll be able to get. We should be able to get two flights out of this. And it's beeping. Okay, the beeping stops, so it means it's connected. And we're going to start off, oh, I forgot to mention, the way this comes up, um, none of the switches are set up. It's set for acro out of the box, no matter what switch is. Uh, the way I've adjusted it is I put this switch here to set it to beeper and set it to arm with Don. And also this switch here, uh, full up is angle, uh, center position is error mode with anti-gravity, and bottom is pure acro. So we're going to start off line of sight flying, arming the motors. Let's see how this thing flies. 
Bringing it over closer to show it to you. Checking a punch. It's a little punchy little thing. <laughs> it flew out very nicely. Let's bring it back in. And I notice one thing I should do is that uh, cable for that battery is flopping up and down as I do this. <laughs> so I'm going to twist that a little bit more for when we do fly this acro here. But let's bring it around and go. <laughs> I hit that off switch. Why do I do that? That's the second time I've done that with a drone. <laughs> hit the off switch when, when I wanted to just punch it. My, my fingers go up and slide up against that off switch. Let me make sure everything's fine. We're good. Okay, let's see if we can arm it again. Armed. And take it to the air again. That didn't hurt it. It is fast. <laughs> you know, even with these uh, stock props, it's a fast little machine. It just accelerates like a rocket. So yeah, if you can, if the gem fan props can be better than this, that's, that makes this fantastic because the way it is now, it's pretty darn awesome, I think, out of the box. I'll bring it by again here. It's not bad. Um, but again, I'm flying at an angle. You know, nothing special here, just an angle. Wow. <laughs> We'll bring it back down here. Let's go into that acro of this thing here shortly. I just wanted to get a feel for this. But it is, it is zippy. I'll give you that. It's a zippy thing. So let's put it in acro and take it up FPV in. So let me plop it down and disarming. Let me, uh, real quick before we go up, I want to check uh, air mode. Okay, air mode, they do, the propellers do spin. <laughs> so we're going to fly air mode too, if I can remember. So let's disarm it and put another battery, a fresh battery, and go for an acro flight. Hope you enjoy the second flight. Okay, first thing I want to show you before we take to the air, I'm going to put the menus on. And to do that, you move this left stick to the left and this one full up. And that should bring up the menu. There it is. And again, we can go down to, uh, let's see, OSD on screen display. And you can adjust things on, on the on-screen display, but uh, what I want to look for is features and video transmitter. And see, so you can adjust the frequencies, the band, the channel, the power levels. Right now, I got to set the 200, 400, 600. We don't want to do that. Remember what I told you. Uh, <laughs> keep it at about 200. So I'm just going to hit back. I'm not going to set that. So this has uh, higher power levels than advertised. Well, let's go to the air now. Hold on. Let me back out of this. We're going to exit it without it making any changes. And selecting acro and arming. And we should be good to go. Let's go to the air. Oh, oh hold on. Let's see if I can get back to the air again. <laughs> Tilted it there on the on takeoff. I wasn't ready for it. But there we go. Let me get a feel for this. Whoa, this thing is fast. Okay, with that in mind, let me just take some care here in the beginning until I get a feel for this thing. Um, yeah, the stock pids, <laughs> they are sloppy. I'll admit that. I can see that right now. But, let's go up and let's try that. And then that. Coming down, going around. Going up again. Around. Okay. Uh, yeah, stock pids, sloppy. Um, however, the propellers don't seem too bad. But again, I guess you can get more power out of these with gem fan. Going around, trying that. So, okay, with this 200 mil of a lot, let's see if we can go down this end of the field. Going down around the trees, down out here in the outboard end of the field. A little bit of floppiness or fuzziness there now keep in mind i got a monopole antenna on this or dipole antenna comes stock with this 
Um, but that antenna includes the antenna connector, so you can stock your own antenna on there if you wish. Um, but again, this is the stock antenna that it comes with. Okay, get a feel now on it. It's been a while since I've flown uh, FPE. <laughs> so, sorry for the, the uh, you get a little bit of rusty. But it comes back, it's like kind of like riding a uh, bicycle. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is a powerful little bird. It is. There's nobody over there. Uh, by the way, the camera on this is very nice. Very good, very good looking camera. But then again, it's a CCD camera, it should be. Right, let's bring it down through here, down through the trees here, right through here. Coming down through there. It's a nice little machine. Checking my voltage here. Okay, it's starting to warn me now, saying we're getting starting to get a little bit low. I like to bring it in right, okay, right about now, when we get down below 3.4 volts, I start getting ready to bring it in. And we're coming to that point now. So let's bring it in. Where are we? <laughs> I'm looking for us here. I'm gonna just plop it on the ground. Oh, there we are. Disarming. I don't like to go below three, but I did. <laughs> okay, so my thoughts on this little thing. Um, let me turn off the video first before I get over there. Camera DVR. Recording stopped. And give you my final thoughts. Taking the cut cam. Thank you, man. Powerful little monster. <laughs> it is. It really is. Um, it flew flew well with us. I thought it flew well. Uh, but the, the PIDs, again, were somewhat sloppy. I, I'm planning to try uh, Andy. Andy RC. PIDs. He does a good job of tuning PIDs, by the way. So uh, I'm going to try that next with this, uh, his PID tuning. Um, and eventually, if I like the PID tunes, I might even replace these props, too, with his recommended gem fan props. So hope you enjoyed this flight of the X140 Pro Mean Machine. <laughs> I liked it. So this is Quadcopter 101, signing out. Thank you.